Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. We are here with day two of our Splendid Day Suite series. Um, this whole week of October 17th through the 21st, 2022, um, we were going to have a project featuring the Splendid Day Suite. Um, if you watch video one, which was Monday the 17th, um, you'll see Every item that we're going to use throughout the week, I did a walkthrough in the catalog and showed you everything. I'm not going to do a walkthrough for the rest of the week because you can watch that first video. And I have everything linked in, or not linked, but I have everything listed in the description box below. If you want to purchase anything you see on any of these videos, um, reach out. You can either go to my website, um, which is tiffanymcgill.stampinup.net. It is down in the description box. Or you can message me, you can email me, whatever. Get a hold of me. Um, and this is featured on my Stampin' Up! Facebook page, which is T Scones and Stampin' Up! So, Splendid Day Suite included the stamp set, the dies. And guess what? Yesterday I said I didn't have it, but I do. I have the ribbon. So, you know, we may incorporate this into our projects this week. I'm not sure yet. But I do have the ribbon. But I couldn't find my gold trinkets. I know I have them. I just could not find them anywhere. Right. So, for today's project, let me show you what it is. And then I'll tell you what we need. Guys, look at my happy zone. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. It is Perel hand sanitizer. Round. i never seen round. Um, I have a collection of hand sanitizer because I'm very germaphobic. And hand sanitizer calms me um so i have a ton over here on my desk different brands different shapes of the bottles and stuff like that so i haven't seen this i got this um either walmart or target but it was in the travel section um this concept was not mine um i pinned it on pinterest but you know how the scammers spammers do um they use a thumbnail from somebody's thing and when you click on it it's spam so unfortunately that's what happened so I had to to figure out the measurements myself which was okay so the concept's not mine but the measurements are um, for this specific box and here is me working it out <laughs> I tried my best and I did great um, so it's really easy to pop the hand sanitizer out you just push it gently and it pops out and the fun thing here, this lays flat. So I just love this paper. Look at the foil paper. Um, this one's Fresh Frasia. And the next one we're going to use um, Soft Sea Foam and Mint Macaroon. I did not have, at the time of creating these, I did not have Soft Sea Foam paper. Ironically, the Soft Sea Foam paper came in today, but I didn't feel like redoing it. So... Um, you're going to need the following. You're going to need this stamp with your um, offset. Again, your offset does not match your stamp set, okay? It's not going to match. Do not drive yourself crazy trying to make it match. It doesn't. It just gives it like a watercolor effect, okay? So it's not going to match. Don't freak out. It's not supposed to. Um, and then I used this die, this die the D die and here is the die for this stamp here okay the foil paper is the soft sea foam that I'm going to use today um, the other items that you need are your embossing cutters I use the white your adhesive back sequins I'm going to use one of these little green gems your Wink Stella, your Terran tape your dimensional that's about it. Let me put this away. Your heat tool, because you're going to have to emboss if you want yours to look exactly like mine. What we embossed was the itty bitty B. So I stamped it in Versamark and then I put the embossing powder on it, heated it up, and then cut it out um, because this paper is embossed. The white is embossed. So I just thought that, you know, looked really good. If you don't want to go through all that, then just stamp it in the soft sea foam or the mint macaroon and leave it as is. Right? Either way. Alright, so let's get started with the project. 
because I'm rambling. You need a sheet of paper that is two inches by 10 and a quarter. So you can get four from an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper or six from the um, 12 by 12, right? Yeah. So there you go. Great craft fair, inexpensive item. Oh, you can always tie it in one of the, the gusset bags and tie the ribbon on top. It would be absolutely gorgeous. I don't know why I didn't do that. Right, so cut your paper two by ten and a quarter. And we are going to score it on the long side. So put the ten inch side on top. And you're going to score it at a half an inch. Oh no. Alright, half an inch. I know you can't see it but it's fine four and a quarter and five and three quarters okay again half an inch two four and a quarter five and three quarters um, the other thing I forgot to tell you to grab was your um, your dies so my circle punch broke. I have the old school Stampin' Up Whale Tail circle punch and I dropped it and it broke. I mean broke broke. So it was old. It was about 14 years old. So it was time. So I had to use a die. So you can use um, any circle die that you have that will fit kind of over the top. This is the second largest, no I'm sorry, the second smallest die on the um let me get the exact name stylus shapes die again it's going to be um listed on the bottom <laughs> let me show you all my prototype look at how my circle punch cut this is how i worked it out i just kind of folded it until it worked out look at how many score lines and crazy marks i have there yeah that's how i worked it out I just want to show you all that anyway all right, let's go ahead and varnish all of our score lines. That's the half. This is the two. Four and a quarter. Five and three fourths, okay? Now, what you need to do is go ahead and cut your circle. It is going to be in the square if you have your half an inch to the right, it's going to be your little square to the left of your half an inch. Okay, so it's going to be this little box right here. If you can't remember, all you have to do is kind of fold it up and it will tell you you need it here. That's your top. So let me grab that. All right, so I got this size circle, which is the roughly one and three quarters, maybe one and three eighths circle. Um, I do have my mini embosser cut and emboss machine, but it's packed up because I'm getting ready to go somewhere on a trip, another one, and so I have to use what I have. But you're going to go ahead and put your circle die on that square, run it through whatever cutting machine you have, and there you go, your circle. I like the die better than the punch too because you can absolutely line it up nicely, right? Okay. All right. So now we need to go ahead and put our strong adhesive, tear and tape, um, double-sided tape, whatever you have. You're going to put your adhesive here. You can use the glue, but um, I just don't want to hold it. So I'm using tape. You can use your Seal Plus, Stamp, stamp and Seal Plus, if you want. Now, this is your choice. You can decorate it now, or you can wait until you put it together, because it does lie flat. So... 
I'm going to decorate it afterwards. What I'm going to do is go ahead and I folded it flat, right? And my still my stickies here. I'm just going to fold that sticky under, line it up, and smooth it down. And pop it up. That way you don't have to guess anything. Just lay it flat, stick her down. Okay. That's it. Now we're going to go ahead and decorate. You can corner chop if you want. So I am going to round my corners. And you need a piece of paper that is the top piece measures two by one and seven eighths. And then this bottom piece measures two and an eighth by one and seven eighths. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue both of those down. Again, use your glue of choice. Here's the back of this one has the solid leaves. I think they're supposed to be leaves or sparkles or whatever they are on the back. Alright, give myself a little border. This is giving myself about an eighth of an inch border, a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. But you can give yourself however big border you want. I need to round these corners to match. And go ahead and stick that down. Um, the stamping that I did, I used these sending hugs because, you know, if you're sending hand sanitizer, it's usually because somebody's sick. This is a good get well soon. Or even, you know, if somebody's going into the hospital or, um, you know, whatever. Or send to someone like me. You're going to send me hugs. A, sanit a sanitary hug. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Wash your hands, then give me a hug. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and that was this little thing right here. So I meant to tell you to keep your circle um, because that's what I stamped on. If you tossed yours, just stamp another. All right, so I'm gonna add a dimensional to our sending hugs that's already stamped. And again, I if you watched the last month's series, you heard me say this a million times, I'm gonna say it again. I use entirely too many um, dimensionals, but um, it just makes me feel better. So use as many or as few as you want. Most people probably would just put one on the back of this, but um, I, I, I liked more than one. I liked four. So you can put this wherever you want. I put it towards the top. You can center it, but I put it towards the top so that way you can see it, right? So that was my reasoning behind that. You can put it where you want. Right. Now we're gonna decorate with our stems. So just make a collage. Kind of just set it in there. And I had a little white piece in here. Soft sea foam is very, very light. So I, I like the happy accident of me having to use the um, mint macaroon because it gives it a little extra green, right? Um, and then, where are my scissors? What I did was I used a dimensional. Don't throw your dimensional backing away because see, you can use it, right? I'm gonna need a smaller piece though because my bead is not that big. So I just made my collage. Just kind of any which way. And then I used my dimensional to hold them all together. I am going to put some glue down just because I love adhesive. 
and I want to make sure that nothing falls apart that nothing you know is more embarrassing than you're at a craft show and somebody picks something of yours up and it falls apart gasp that is horrible right so glue that down and then we're just going to remove our backing on our pop dot and we're going to stamp and emboss our little bee and then add him right there look at how absolutely gorgeous I know you can barely see the soft sea foam but I've tried several different lighting methods with it it doesn't work it's just too light but it's there and it's gorgeous and I love it that is it guys super fun super fast super easy oh I forgot a charm I'm gonna leave that on there I'm going to um, put a little adhesive back sequin in this greenish color. I'm going to put this one on top. Just one. That's it. Um, and I'm going to take my Wink of Stella and I'm going to um, just give his little wings and his little body a little bit of wink. Just a little glitter. You can go in and go crazy with it if you want. Put some Wink of Stella, you know, in like the little petals. Which I'm loving. I ruined my Wink of Stella pen. Look at this. It still works though. There we go. Alright, that is our project guys. Look how absolutely gorgeous these are. I don't know which one I like better. They're both beautiful. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye!